Hey, what's up? This is Alexander Miller, writer for Battleship Pretension and Film Inquiry, and you're back at The Trailer Project. Um, it's been a bit of a hiatus since we featured a trailer commentary here, but you know what? We are back in action and bigger and better than ever. And today, we are featuring the trailer for the one and only Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, now what can I say about the movie that hasn't already been said? Well, don't worry, we'll figure something out. Um, this is another one of those movies that I probably saw at a very young age, probably when I shouldn't have, but it certainly left quite the impression. Um, over the years, I've seen it on VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, but um, most recently, I've fallen back in love with this all over again, thanks to the uh, 4K um, Artificial Eye Blu-ray. Um, the film just looks fantastic. It um, The scenes just open up. The visas just look amazing, the photography looks great, and it's still um, as uh, grimy and dirty and um, horrifying as it ever was. And I would highly recommend um, this set. This is like the end all Texas Chainsaw Massacre release. It's just one of those great movies. Um, Abel Ferreira has actually said that um, this film is the reason why he got into filmmaking. And if you see his great debut feature, The Driller Killer, you'll see some, um, you'll see a lot, you'll see some connections there. Um, it's not just a cool title, but it is a cool title. Um, anywho, um, enough said. Uh, let's check out the trailer for the one and only Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, boop. What happened was true. Oh shit, one of the best parts of the film, one of the scariest moments in horror film history. Meet Leatherface. Yep, there's Terry McMinn there, um, understandably terrified. The most bizarre and brutal series of crimes in America. Ah yes, true story. This is like the umpteenth time um, Ed Gein's been turned into a horror film. And if that looks scary, it's because they're real skeletons and real human bones. But yeah, back when I first saw this, you know, renting it at Blockbuster when I was a kid, that true story thing freaked me the fuck out. I totally thought this all went down the way it's um, presented in the film. I was in like fifth grade, so it cut me some slack. And what's terrifying is the screams, is that they're really selling it. You really believe that these people are getting murdered. Oh god, that, that horrible screeching sound. Just a rusty nail scraping against the back of your eye. Oh shit, time to die. A chonk. So many great horror films, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre can be unpacked in so many ways. Nowadays, it's most interesting when you look at it from the perspective of gender. And, you know, factoring in that Gein influence and Leatherface and how he's kind of this de facto matriarch of this demented family. And despite being as deadly as he is, you can definitely tell that Leatherface is the most domestic of the bunch. And he's very much fearful of the other male counterparts around him. It really says something interesting about the ways in which we perceive gender. Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Happy Massacre, man. Streaming. It's a fucking... It's, they only made this film once, and um, they keep trying to make it again. It's just not the same. Um, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos, and we'll catch you later.